Delhi. Probably can't hear anything I'm saying. But we're in old Delhi. We're gonna see what it's all about. I've heard bad things about this place. I've heard good things about this place. But mainly I've heard bad, to be honest. From everyone I've spoke to, things I've read online. But I think it's beautiful. Beautiful chaos. So we're just on our way to go and get some food from a place called Karim's, which is like apparently world famous, very well known, very well respected. Um, so yeah, we'll go see what it's like. Just got to get there without dying first. So the street we're on now, I'm not sure the name, but I'll, uh, I'll add it onto the screen, but this seems to be like the place where you can get all the food. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether I trust any of it, that's the thing. Whoa. Here we are in Karim's Old Delhi, one of the most famous restaurants in the whole of Delhi and Old Delhi. Chicken karai, seek kebab and roti breads. Very, very nice. Highly recommend that you come here. Give them a taste test, you know. Spicy or not? So I'm gonna enjoy this now. It's enough to enough to put you off eating meat for life around here, I tell you that. Absolutely mental. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. So I thought the wires in Kathmandu were bad, but what a joke! What a joke! Absolutely stinks that fish. Man, just get me a chicken salad sandwich from Tesco's or something, please, because I'm going to get poorly. I am here, seriously poorly. I'd love to know why in India they all beep so much. I mean, they, they do it all over Asia, but this is just way worse than anywhere else by a long mile. It hurts your head, you've got a headache. It hurts your ears. Wow, it stinks. Smelly, smelly, smelly. Hello. So, from all the stuff that I've read, a lot of people say don't even bother coming here for some reason. Um, a lot of people say they don't like it. Everyone says that you get completely and utterly mired, dragged into places. I haven't had any of that yet. Don't get me wrong, you do get people begging and asking for stuff, but it's not as bad as what people say. Just be firm and they'll be fine. You wouldn't want to come down here after a few beers anyway, let me tell you that, because it's just chaos. For anyone that's been to India before will know how intense it is. Especially in these sorts of places. Maybe not when you're in a resort in Goa, but being in a resort, you're not experiencing anything. 
you've got to come to these sorts of places to really understand what it's like because man this is just mad mad so the plan today is to obviously have a walk around the red fort we're going to go to as it was closed yesterday the, we were going to come to old delhi yesterday but it was gandhi's birthday so one of the public holidays in uh, india so um a lot of the sort of forts and stuff were closed including the red fort oh i've left chanel so yeah we're gonna have a wander around the markets chamney chow uh, and yeah, we'll just see what it's about, but I'm looking forward to the Red Fort. So there's clearly obviously a lot of poverty around here. When you compare this to New Delhi or South Delhi, a million miles away. Definitely the maddest place I've ever been by a mile. Places like Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, they don't compare to this. But this is on a new level. Crazy shit. Into the chaos again. Hello! But all the little kids are so friendly. A lot of the people are friendly, to be honest with you. Uh, you get some stares, it's pretty intense. Like, I'm getting absolutely stared at from every angle right now because I've got this GoPro. Oh man, look at this now. Look at this man. Shit man. No. I'm getting my bit for money. For our kids. No, 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 no touch, do not touch me. You gotta be firm. Nahi, oi, no. So it is tight. Big, big contrast here between, obviously you get the kids that go to school. They're looking all clean in the uniforms. No, 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 no. no. So although you want to give in to it and give them money, yeah, they're suffering, they're hungry, but you're just, you're just feeding it, you're feeding into it. They'll never try and change. Maybe that's wrong for, hey, no, 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 no. 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 He's like going in my pockets, trying to get in my bag, following us. Won't leave us alone. He'll give up on him in tight because the mums and dads are making them do it. these kids should be at school they shouldn't be doing this shouldn't be doing this no 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 stop touching no no so yeah welcome to old delhi what a mad place getting knocked left right and center by the bloody tuk tuk no stop stop I'm starting to get angry with him now, he's trying to go in my bags, touching me. But he won't leave me alone, that's what they do, they try and put the pressure on you until you give in. But I'm not giving in. I will not give in, you can follow me around all day for all I care. Here's some more. No, no, no! No, no, no! Have this bag. No money, no money, no money, no money, no money, no money, 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 no money, no money, no money, no money. Get off now, no. You don't give in, you don't give in. Hey, right, enough. Leave, you won't leave us alone. I know you want money, I ain't got money. Come on now, hey, go, come on, go. 
Man, even the locals are having a go at the kids. And this isn't me being nasty by shouting. At the end of the day, they've been following me for 20 minutes, going in my pockets, going in my bag, touching me, scratching me, kicking the back of my legs. Very, very intense place, man. Very, very intense. It's pretty, pretty freaky, but yeah, what an experience. So, thank you to the uh, lovely local man. Don't know his name. We'll never see him again. Uh, shit, we need to go back that way, don't we, to the market? Uh, but he um, he had a go at the kids. I was trying to shout at him and tell him no. I tried to be kind. I tried to shout. I tried to be affirmative. But nothing works. At the end of the day, these kids are hungry. But as soon as you give one. They, they, they swarm around you like hundreds of them so you, and you're feeding into that begging and uh, yeah it's, it's not good you, you never know what to do in these situations to be honest name of this place is Chandy Chow I didn't even realise we were in Chandy Chow so this area this must be the Chandy Chow market there's the sign over there Whoa, man, chill out, man, chill out. Oh, man, it's just... Yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm speechless, to be honest. I don't really know what to say. It's hard to think straight. Very, very hard to think straight. This video is not going to be very good. I just want to try and show you what it's like here because this is just mental. Completely different to New Delhi, completely different on so many levels. Definitely not for the faint of hearted, this place, the faint hearted, if that's even a word. Just mad. That's all you're going to hear me say, just mad. Crazy shit, man, crazy. Right, we're off the busy street. Yeah? So we're gonna go and have a look around the market now. We walked in on this, we walked into the uh, food area, Chandy Chow, through this market. I'm guessing this is still classed as Chandy Chow. So, uh, yeah, you can get some quite good stuff on here actually. If you want like a pair of flip flops, new shirt, whatever you want really, a hammer, <laughs> they sell everything. Suitcases, belts, bags, carpets, you name it, they've got it here. Reminds me of going to car boot when I was younger with my dad. It's quite quite similar actually to Valentino's or Panley. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. People love saying hello here. Probably because they want me to buy something, but it's actually some really good quality stuff. So yesterday, as I said before. Uh, we came to Old Delhi yesterday, me, Chanel and one of our friends called Callum. Um, and we went into the mosque, which is just here. Just up there. Jama Masjid, Delhi. Not going to go back in today. I didn't get any footage yesterday, unfortunately. Um, but it's, it's worth going into. Beautiful place. Uh, and it cost... Did it cost 300 rupees each? Yeah, and then 100 for the bowl. So 300 rupees entrance fee for tourists, I believe. And we didn't come in um, trousers. So you have to have your legs covered. Women have to have their arms and stuff covered. Uh, so we had to pay an extra 100 rupees for basically a pair of jama bottoms to put on. So yeah, make sure you come in trousers because you'll save yourself 100 rupees. But other than that, it's 300 entrance fee. Uh, you can climb to the top of these big towers. 
the mirror nets and look, up, look over the whole city. Well, I say the whole city, you can look over a very small part of the city. Hello? No, thank you. No, thank you, my friend. No, it's okay. It's No, it's okay, don't worry, it's okay, thank you. Ah, nice. Thank you, brother. Yeah, nice place. Nice bike. Nice bike. Very in the helicopter. In the helicopter. Helicopter, yeah. So yeah, that's what I was saying. So uh, Come here. Oh, no, it's okay, my friend. Don't worry. Thank you. We like walking. We walk. No, walk like my India. We walk. My India. India, yes. Neelam. Neelam bike. Old Delhi. Old Delhi. Very nice. Thank you, my friend. But no, we're not interested. No. No, it's okay, brother. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow, it smells around here. Uh, weed. Mm. Hello. Hello. No, it's okay. Thank you. No. So yeah, um, I'm probably just chatting absolute bubbles here. This is there's people coming at you from every direction. It's very hard to even come up with stuff to say. Um, yeah, <laughs> old Delhi. Hands down, Delhi is the craziest place I've been. Just. Just crazy man, crazy, crazy, crazy. So many people here in this city, so, so many people. Just everywhere you go, there's just millions, hundreds of thousands of people everywhere. Maybe that was an exaggeration, but you know what I mean? A lot of people everywhere. Just traffic jams of people. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi. This traffic jam. Sorry? Hey. Sorry, just filming. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I've just had to take the camera a minute because it's a bit overwhelming. <laughs> Josh is a bit overwhelmed. I mean, I'm completely overwhelmed. But you have to experience it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a bit more, ch <laughs> a bit more chilled here now. Much more chilled here now. There's only like. Yeah, well, you can see there's not many people down this bit, so I could actually take the camera back and actually think a little bit clearer, even though there's horns going off everywhere, every second. If there's any Indian people watching this, can you please explain to me why Indian people love beeping the horns? Is it to get people to move out of the way? Is it to let people know that they're there? Or is it just like something that you do without even realizing? Because man, I've never been anywhere like this where people beat the horn so much. It seems like they just enjoy doing it for the sake of it. Crazy, 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 crazy. Oh God, this is just, just so, so mad. It just, every sense, touch, smell, taste, ear, hearing, whatever the other ones are, just get attacked, attacked. It's just mental. But this bit's not too bad, man. So as I said again before that we came here yesterday, obviously it was intense yesterday, but it's been way, way more intense today. It's like it's busier. We've been getting mired by more people for money. Them children before must have been following us, following us for like 15, 20 minutes. They would not give in. I don't think they would have given until one of the local men, well, a couple of the local guys, a couple of local Indian guys, uh, stepped in and, and basically told them to leave us alone. And they, and they left us alone then. Whereas if I told them, they didn't listen. Uh, so thank you again to them, uh, to them lovely kind men for helping us out. Because I don't think they like seeing it either. We're tourists, they like us coming to their country. We like coming to their country. But when when you're getting mired like that, it, it definitely would put certain people off. I know a lot of people that would not have liked that at all. Me? Well, me included. I don't think anyone likes that, really. It's, it's crazy. It's nothing like being at home in England. London and stuff is busy, but it's... London's nothing compared to that. Just, yeah. Nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. I'd also love to know off other 
tourists, whether you're an Indian tourist, Western tourist, whether you're from other parts of Asia, Australia, New Zealand, wherever you're from, do you give in to the people begging for money? Do you give them money? Do you not give them money? I'd love to know your reasons because we've been told to not give in and give them money because you're feeding into that, that system of begging. Um, we have seen other tourists. But we have seen money. other tourists giving money, quite a lot of money actually, sometimes hundreds of rupees. So I'm just taking refuge in um, a safe place called McDonald's. We're in McDonald's, getting out of the heat, getting out of the busyness, just having a coke. Because yeah, that was that was intense. Very intense. Quick little pit stop in Mackey's to get out of the chaos. Hello, Na Victor. Hello. Uh, nice ice cream and a nice drink. And now we're going to go to the Red Fort. The Red Fort, I can see just down there. It's right in front of me. So, yeah, we're going to go check that out. Not sure how much it costs yet, but. I'm sure I'll find out in about 10, 15 minutes time. Hello, my friend. No, my friend. Thank you. It's fine. Absolutely amazing looking place. So, as a foreign tourist, it looks like you can skip the bloody queue. All these lot have got to queue up. But we have to pay ten times the price. How much? My card in cash. Ka card? My card? Is it? So the, the cost of the Red Fort is 600 rupees if you pay cash, or it's 550 rupees if you pay on card. So pay on card. You save yourself a pound if there's two of you. So as a tourist, as I just said, you pay well more than 10 times the price, but you do get to skip the queues at least. Uh, and it cost us 550 rupees each because we paid on card uh, or it's 600 rupees if you pay cash so it's like 50p extra or you save 50p if you pay on card so here we go red fort so we're inside the red fort i don't think i'm supposed to be filming to be honest it said uh, cameras are prohibited but no one said anything so god knows Very, very impressed. There's a bit of uh, factual information for you. So you've even got some kind of like bizarre market type thing as you walk into the Red Fort. Selling handbags, jewellery, all that sort of stuff. So I didn't expect there to be a market as soon as you walked in. So I've just learned a little fact there. Chatter Chowk is the name of that bazaar or market or whatever you want to call it. So Chatter Chowk means covered market or a market undercover which was very, according to that sign, was very rare back in the days when it was first built. Uh, so that's quite interesting, Chatter Chowk. Influenced by Pakistan. Very interesting, very beautiful place. So the Noabak Khana or Naka Khana or otherwise known as a drum house 
in its days of glory according to this the musicians used to play music when the emperors or other important people used to come into the fort music was played up to five times a day and yeah it's a, ni a pretty nice looking building so let's go check it out So folks, this building here is a hall of public audience or the Diwan Ayam. I may have said that wrong, or Divan Ayam. Pronounced like this. Or like this. And it was where Shah Jahan in around 1628 received the general public and heard their grievances. So Sorry, I'm trying to be more uh, factual here. It's not working, is it? <laughs> I'm not very good with my facts. I'm just a clown. Just a clown on the camera. If you want facts, maybe go to somebody else's YouTube. This isn't the place for you. This is the place to just laugh at an idiot from England, basically, on a camera who doesn't really know what he's doing, but just enjoying it. But yeah, I'll tell you what, these forts or these different places that we've visited in Delhi they're so stunning really really gorgeous places I look at this over here again wherever the camera shows it I mean they're just immaculate considering how old they are they may have had some uh, renovations over the years but definitely still stunning Just getting uh, us having a photo shoot. Get in my video then, say hello. So, sorry? Yes. Say hello. <laughs> Been uh, interrogated, not interrogated, that's not the right word. What's the what's the word I'm looking for? Um, harassed. Yeah, harassed, that's the one. By about 30 different people for a picture. Chanel don't like it. I love it though, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's brilliant. Something that just does not happen in England. But over here, they just just start taking pictures and videos of you. Some people really wouldn't like that, but I just I'm just trying to take it on the chin, to be honest with you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Photos. Get in. Oh, get in, everyone. Everyone, everyone in. Come on. Come on. In the picture. Come on. And we all say one, two, three. India. One, two, three. India. Come on. Let's go. Come on, India. India. I love India. England. England. Yes. Indian, India. Best cricket. What's your name? Say hello. India versus New Zealand. Yes. Coming soon in World Cup. Yeah, man. Of course. England will will win. England. Yeah, of course, of course. There you go. Photo. I seen you. You can see on the video. Yeah, so they love they love taking pictures. So next building, to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I'm just getting bloody in, interrogated by everyone for pictures. Moti Masjid. Pearl Mosque. Wow. Just a short walk from his bed to the sacred chamber. Sounds pretty scary, to be honest. <laughs> India, hey, that's me, hey! <laughs> look, at, look at this place. It's absolutely stunning. It's actually a bit of peace and tranquility. Is that even a word? I don't know. Um, from out, outside there, outside the fort, as you've seen on the previous footage in Old Delhi, is absolute chaos. But in here, it's chilled, beautiful gardens, nice buildings to look at. It's just, it's really, really is stunning, really worth coming. It cost 600 or 550 rupees we paid. Just nice to have a walk around, look at all the old buildings. 
So yeah, definitely worth it. But obviously you're gonna get Maiva for loads of pictures, so if you don't like that then, well, maybe don't come. Right, so, obviously Chanel's a lady, I'm a man, or a boy, whatever you want to call me. Um, I, I don't care, people can video me, film me, laugh at me, shout at me. I personally am lapping it up, I think it's brilliant, I think it's funny. I think it's a brilliant experience, but as a woman, maybe it's different. I know, if you was a solo traveller, it might be a bit intimidating, just being videoed all the time when you've not asked to be, but you can say no to the selfies. Yeah, so we, we've clocked a few men, groups of men, like videoing Chanel, and they didn't ask for permission, which is weird, you know, it, it, you shouldn't be doing that, so that's the red fort. Not loads of footage from inside, I've just been taking it in, enjoying it, speaking with the locals, chilling. Um, yeah, you know, if, if you want more information on the Red Fort, I'm sure there's plenty of other YouTube channels out there that give that information. The YouTube, go on then, take take picture. Yeah. Come on guys, say hello. Say, follow, not done travelling. Follow. <laughs> Follow not done traveling. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Top YouTube. Okay. Picture. YouTube picture. What's your names? Adnan. Nice to meet you guys. You must be famous. <laughs> Everyone, get in. Get in the picture. Come on, get in. Get in. Get in. <laughs> okay. Finish. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I've never felt more famous in my life. I love India. Where's your phone? In my pocket. I love India. Everyone's friendly. They all just want pictures with us. I don't <laughs> know why, but please, if I've got any Indian people that watch this channel, which I probably haven't yet, please tell me why Indian people love taking pictures with Western tourists. I would love to know. <laughs> right, that's your lot for this weird but wonderful vlog of Old Delhi and the Rev Fort. Thoroughly enjoyed having pictures with everybody. I've never felt so important in my life. I feel like a king or something. Pretty cool. So yeah, Red Fort, definitely worth it. Just prepare to get mad for pictures. Hello, YouTube. Hello. Well, <laughs> what were you doing on the video? Just dancing? What a dance? Ding. Right, come on now, I'm going. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice Bye, dance, guys. <laughs> right, see you later, Red Fort. I'll probably never see you again. But there's lots of stuff to do in here. Mainly speaking to. Yo, say hello. Yo, yo. Yo, bro, yo. Where are you from, man? India. India, where? In Delhi or? Uh, out of Rajasthan. Rajasthan, nice oh, place. Nice. nice to meet you, man. Later. Very beautiful picture with the fort. Very nice. Here we go, back on the streets of old Delhi. Just listen at it. Can I take video? Yeah, it's fine, yeah, 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 of course. So I'm just getting a bracelet made for me. Pop up camera. Sorry? Pop up. Pop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right on the way, go. They just seen us getting a bracelet. They told us it was five rupees per letter, which would have been 50 rupees. And then they was all trying to demand 325. So we gave them um, 150 because, you know, it was a nice experience. But yeah, just be careful that the maybe try and pay before so you can't get ripped off once you've already got the product. So that's our 
three days in Delhi over and tomorrow well tonight we're getting the overnight train to Varanasi so Varanasi videos incoming